What is up, everybody? We are back at one of my favorite spots on the map. We are back at where the waterfall falls like crazy, guys. You can come all the way here. You guys can see I'm at this perfect V area that I really enjoy fishing. It has a sick waterfall area. The water's pretty clear, and the fish just always seem to bite over here. Uh, I've just been enjoying this area, trying to catch some largemouth bass today. And uh, that's going to be our goal for today is try to catch the biggest largemouth we can. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. We're going to travel around a little bit and see where the fish are located. I've been hearing recently that in the game you can possibly see some things. So uh, as you guys can see across the, um, across the lake right there or this little stream area, there's that tree that's lighting up up in the right hand corner. So I'm probably going to go unlock that in just a bit and uh, get some points for that. And then... Uh, Possibly run around, go rent a jeep, maybe uh, rent a boat, and we're just going to venture today. See what we can find, see what kind of size fish we can catch. You guys can see right there, there's already fish jumping, and I'm just super excited for today's video. Not sure what's going to happen, but like I said, guys, all these videos are basically adventures, and we're just exploring to see what we can catch. In a lot of my recent videos, guys, we have actually been bank fishing quite a, a lot. Um, a lot of people always say you gotta have a boat to catch fish, but you really don't in real life. If you guys like the pond fish, lake fish, you can always catch fish from the bank. That's how I always started out, but now I own my own boat, and I love fishing from a boat. So, obviously today we're fishing from the bank right now, but like I said, we're gonna go rent a boat here shortly, and uh, we'll go see what we can do. But, um... If you guys like fishing, what do you, which one do you guys like more? Fishing from a boat or fishing from um, the bank? Oh, guys, hooked up right now. Hooked up. This fish is probably pretty good size. Let's see. Holy cow, guys. Look at the size of that largemouth. That is a pretty good size largemouth right there, guys. This could be a quality one for us. This is the one we were looking for. So let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's not break it off. That's for sure. Let's try to get this fish in as clean as possible. See what we can do. It looks like a pretty good one, guys. On this little grass patch right by the waterfall here. Again, guys, on the spinner bait, my favorite bait to throw. I can't beat it. I just catch so many fish on it, and it is the best bait in the entire game by far. We are at 90% drag, and this fish is, is giving us a heck of a fight right now. I don't know um, why it's pull. I mean, it must be a quality fish. That's why it's pulling so hard. So let's hopefully, uh, let's keep our drag fluctuated um, and not break off because you guys know I have a little bit of an issue breaking off on those bigger fish, uh, and I really don't want to do that today. So let's get this fish in, and uh, let's see if we can beat our best largemouth. This is... This might be one of our best largemouth, I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty good fight, and I'd really love to see if um, we could possibly get a silver or gold largemouth. So let's see, guys. Let's get this fish in. There we go, guys. Let's see what we got. Holy smokes. That is a gold largemouth, guys. 6.95 pounds. Wow, guys, that's a good size largemouth. Let's take a better, closer look at it. Man, that's a good, good fish right there, guys. That is a quality size fish. That is probably close to the size of my best largemouth in real life, guys. I have not broke over the seven pound mark fishing in real life, and I really would like to here soon. Um, a lot of these lakes in Illinois are tough to break that mark, and. Uh, traveling throughout the country i've definitely had opportunities i've caught fives i've caught fours i've caught six and a halfs but i have not broke the seven mark and i'm hoping that i can do that sometime soon in the future if not go catch a double digit largemouth because i have been in the boat when a nine and an eight pounder have been caught so hopefully in the game we can possibly do that i don't know if the game has 10 pounders in it but i would assume it does that would be so awesome to see if we could catch a fish that size and possibly, I don't believe that's a gold, but I believe that would probably be a diamond size large mouth in this game. So hopefully we can do that. But guys, that's awesome. We just broke and caught ourselves a gold large mouth. We can't beat that at all. Hooked up again, guys. We're hooked up right now. Looks like we're getting this fish in really quickly. 
Oh, look at that. That largemouth could have ate that perch. My gosh. It's probably what he's feeding on over here in this little grass patch. So, obviously, we just caught some good fish there. Let's go make a run for it. And let's go over to the uh, area where we can go rent a boat. And let's go for a little ride. Let's go see where we're, where we're about. And, um... See if we can catch anything. Uh, you guys think I should go get that tree? I'll get it later. We'll go. We'll go explore a little bit first. So obviously this area is super scenic. We could rent a jeep right here again, or uh, just run over here and rent us a boat. Because I would like to run down the um, run down this little river channel here and uh, see what we can do. Let's see what boat should I rent today, guys. Let's take a look. Let's go call it in. Boat rentals. Let's see, um, I always like going with the Lionheart 500, that green edition, it looks super, super slick, and let's go, let's go run around, let's go see where we can go today, guys, we're gonna run almost out to, back to the main lake, and, uh, see if we can catch us a few good largemouth again, like I just did, that one's gonna be hard to beat, but I'm sure I'm gonna try. All right, guys, we pull up right on this point here, as you guys can see on the map. It's a little bit of an island that comes right in between this cut. I think that this island is going to produce some decent bites. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks, oh, it looks pretty juicy if I can make a cast. My gosh. Come on. There we go. So, again, guys, throwing the spinnerbait right now, fluctuating that speed up and down. Not too sure if there's any fish on this point, but... If it was real life, I'd probably be dragging like a football jig or a Carolina rig or something of that sort across this point in hopes of catching a good fish. But this time of the year, it's typically fall season. So these largemouth are going to be following that bait to the back of the pockets. And uh, sometimes there's bigger gizzard shad that stay a little bit out, but they're typically on the bank. And uh, those bigger largemouth like to follow them up. So... We'll see what happens, guys. This spinnerbait is pretty simi similar to that shad and um, can definitely trigger a bite, like I said, just like that largemouth just, just bit. So, All right, guys. We're going to make a slight adjustment here. We're actually going to go to my rods and reels. We're going to go here. We're going to stop throwing the spinnerbait, and we're actually going to try out the popper really fast. Let's set that in stone, and um, let's get back up and start fishing with it. I saw a pike nearby, and it seems a lot of times that the pike really enjoy fighting that top water. So let's see if we can catch one. I'm not too sure, but you never know. We're going to give it a try and see if we can catch us a pike. If so, if not, possibly a largemouth. So it would be pretty sick if we catch one. So unfortunately, nothing there, guys. I'm thinking we'd make another move here quick, and uh, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm not too sure. We might run out to the main channel and see if there's any fish loaded up over here somewhere. we got to catch ourselves at least a few more fish before the day is over. We already started out the day with a solid largemouth in the box, as you guys saw. That was a quality, quality fish. Um, that's, that's a kicker that we need always in a tournament setting, guys. You can't beat that. So we're going to see if we can step it up and uh, catch ourselves. Let's stop on this uh, pinch point right here, which we got the bridge right here. Let's see if we can uh, catch ourselves a fish or two. Not too sure. Uh, hopefully I can cast. Let's actually switch up that bait again back to the spinner bait. So let's see here, spinner bait, our favorite one. And let's get out and start fishing, guys. I don't know if we can cast underneath the bridge, but we're going to see what we can do. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Today definitely hasn't been the best video overall, but we did get a quality largemouth at the beginning. As you guys can see, I'm not the best driver right here, but it is pretty fun. So definitely test out driving in the game if you haven't. But I appreciate you guys like liking these videos and subscribing if you do. And uh, please don't hesitate to because that keeps me producing content for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching another PJD fishing video. And we'll catch you on the next one.